touch. Love that bit. Uh, 13 minutes to nine is the time. Talking about dogs, we know they have a sense of smell so strong that they could even perhaps detect illness in people such as cancer. Could they sniff out coronavirus? A new government-backed trial intends to try and find out just that by seeing if dogs can be trained to detect COVID-19 in humans. Let's find out more about this. We can talk to Professor James Logan, who's from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, and to Dr Claire Guest from the charity Medical Detection Dogs. Good morning to you both. Um, can we first find out who is the dog um, who is stealing the show this morning um, can, and what can he or she do? Well, this is Asher, and uh, he may look like a, 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 a fluffy bundle of fur and actually he's half asleep now, but he is uh, the best biosensor on the planet. His nose has got 350 million sensory receptors in it, and he can detect odours down to parts per trillion. So this is a really, really serious project. So what has Claire, Dr, Dr. Claire Guess, what, what has he sniffed out then before? Well, um, actually, Ash is one of our older hands and he's already learned to sniff out malaria and Parkinson's disease. But we've got a team of young dogs all ready and waiting to go. Now, what Ash is going to tell us is whether COVID-19 has an odour so that we can get the young dogs working on it. And uh, it's um, a very, very, very exciting time. So, Professor Logan, very good morning to you. You don't have a dog with you, so uh, your image isn't quite as engaging as Claire's, <laughs> but you've got a piano. I see you've got a piano. Well, that's nice. So talk us through the science on this one. I mean, it, it, we know dogs have extraordinary powers of detecting things. Talk us through the science about w what we need to check to see whether they can find COVID in a patient. Yeah, so uh, as Claire has just said, you know, dogs have an incredibly powerful sense of smell, and that's what we're looking to use in this study to see if they can detect people who have COVID-19. So our previous work has shown that diseases such as malaria, for example, have a very distinctive odour associated with the infection, and we've demonstrated with dogs that they can detect malaria at very, very high accuracy. So what we know about other respiratory diseases and, and lots of other diseases, in fact, for hundreds of years, we've known that diseases create changes in our body odour. And um, we think the same thing is happening with COVID-19. And that's what this study is about, is to determine whether our body odour changes when we have that infection. And if it does change, then you know, we're very, very confident that these dogs would be able to detect and we could have a new way of diagnosing people with COVID-19. So, Professor, just talk us through the actual practicalities of this testing. So, uh, how does it work? You, you have a patient who, who you know to have coronavirus who's tested positive. And then, and then just can you talk me through the practicalities of, of how you go about the test? Yeah, it's, it's actually fairly simple. So um, we'll be recruiting people within NHS hospitals. We'll actually be recruiting NHS staff um, and uh, we won't know their status at the time of recruitment, um, but they will be tested. So they'll be tested as, as part of their routine job now. Um, we'll ask those participants to wear um, a face mask um, for a couple of hours and also some nylon socks. Um, and nylon is an, an incredibly good matrix to collect body odour. We've used it for many years and it's very good at, at collecting odour that we can retain. And this is how we did our malaria work as well. So those samples will then be processed and they'll be sent to medical detection dogs and this will be a blinded trial so they won't know what, uh, what the samples are, whether they're from an infected person or a confirmed uninfected person. And then through a process of training, um, they will see whether the dogs can actually uh, learn the smell of somebody who is infected. So Dr Guest, I mean, in practical terms as well, where would this be used? I mean, I mean, are we thinking airports and how, how quickly can, uh, how many people can a dog identify or go through, for want of a better phrase, um, it, you know, if you're in an airport, say, and you're, you're checking passengers who are arriving or leaving? Well, we're all accustomed to seeing dogs in airports looking for drugs and explosives and agricultural produce in many countries. And these dogs are able to detect to screen up to 250 people an hour. Now, they work in teams. The dog works for 20 minutes and then he has a rest and his doggy friend takes over. But the important thing is this is rapid, non-invasive uh, screening, which can quickly uh, define who in the, in the population will need testing and isolation. And it could be a real game changer. And of course, the dogs absolutely love it. As far as they're concerned, they're just doing what they're, they're, they're bred to do. They're, they're, they're searching and finding and getting a reward. Well, uh, Dr. Guest, thank you very much, and uh, thank you. Oh, the dog's gone. 
Oh, oh no, he's back, back again. Uh, lovely to speak to you this morning. Thank you so much. And we'll, we look forward with great interest to seeing how this works out. Professor Logan, uh, keep us posted on, on uh, what happens in the next uh, few weeks. It'll be very interesting.